Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. In today's episode, we will master Git, the source code management system, in just two minutes. Start the clock and let's go. Git, as we know, is a distributed version control system that helps us keeping track of our code changes and allows for smooth collaboration. Locally, we kick off with Git init to fire up a new Git repository. When you have made changes and want Git to track them, git add dot comes to your rescue, adding all changes to the staging area. To commit these changes, you would use git commit minus m your message, where your message is a brief note on what you have changed. Want to check your git status? Just type git status and it will show changes that are staged, not staged or untracked. To link your local repository to a remote one, use git remote add origin and then the URL of the remote repository. Want to push changes to a remote repository? Git push is your friend. Fetching changes from the remote repository to your local one is as easy as git pull. Made an error? No worries. Use git checkouts minus minus to discard all changes since the last commit. But remember, there is no undoing of this. Creating a branch is as simple as git branch branch name. And to switch to this branch, use git checkout branch name. To merge this branch into the current one, use git merge branch name. To align your branch with the main branch, use git rebase main. Want to see differences between your files and the last commit? Git diff shows you the differences. To copy your repository, use git clone repository URL. And finally, to see your commit history, use git log. There you have it, you mastered Git in just 90 seconds. But remember, Git might seem overwhelming initially, but it's a game changer for managing projects or collaboration. Keep committing and keep exploring. Happy coding and see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of ILTP WC. If you like the content, please smash that subscribe button and also hit the like button. And if you have questions, please just write a comment in the comment section. I'm really looking forward to talk to you. Thanks a lot and bye bye.